Buzz is a well-known Disney and Pixar character. He's a galactic space ranger whose ship crashed on Earth, or what we think is Earth. He is a toy, however, comes to life similar to his toy counterparts. His backstory goes like this. His enemy is Zerg, who is trying to create an evil weapon but needs batteries to power it. However, the green aliens have been holding him off for quite some time, but, but Buzz had to go help them. And this sort of sounds kind of familiar. It's almost like there's a ride at Disney World just like it. Buzz was given a ride after Delta Dream Flight wasn't much of a success as hoped. Delta Dream Flight was renamed after Delta sponsored the ride. The ride was previously named If You Had Wings and also If You Could Fly. None of these names or rides lasted all that long. Buzz has lasted a long time though, spanning from 1998 and on. This ride is very popular with the young kids, but is also popular with adults and teenagers. For someone older, this ride is a lot of fun to go on as you try to beat your friends and get a high score. When you're a young kid, you're just really excited to see Buzz, and at the end of the queue, you can see him and he help you on his mission. We are definitely drawn into the world of the ride, and a big way that happens is in the queue. It has a lot of pictures that tell the story and, and show previous missions of Buzz. As you walk through, there's more and more things to see. But at the end of the queue, there's an animatronic of Buzz that talks to you and moves around. He's your last warning before the dangerous mission ahead. The ride is run by the Omnimover system. This means that the carts don't stop unless they are told to by the ride operator. The carts go at the same speed during the entire ride, even the loading bay. You would think that that makes it hard to get on, but they have a little conveyor that you walk on to get onto your cart. Otherwise, I use this Omnimover system are Spaceship Earth and the Little Mermaid. The ride itself has a few different rooms that you go through. They don't, they don't have names, so I'll call them the Robot Room, the Volcano Room, the Zerg Room, and the Light Show Room. In the Robot Room, you start off seeing some robots on the left, and then you see more robots on the right. In the Volcano Room, there's a giant volcano on the right side, and then you go past some aliens when it gets blocked. In the Zerg Room, you see Zerg on the right side and in some escape machine as he tries to get away from you. And in the Light Show Room, you see a cool animation of Buzz fighting Zerg. When you defeat Zerg or your friends in competition, it feels good. It completes the fun you had while going on the ride. Toy Story is one of those movies that most kids grow up watching. They often wonder if their toys also come to life. Maybe the smart ones don't believe it, but the dumb kids like me did. Our family would be having dinner in the dining room, and I'd be peeking into the living room checking if my toys came to life. When I went to Disneyland back when I was 8, I loved the Buzz ride. I was a competitive kid and loved trying to beat my parents, but I also loved Buzz and the Toy Story, so this ride was definitely one of my favorites.